Hello, this is Brian again. Welcome to my next installment of Mount Lawler hike. I'm near the top of something. Gotta find out if it's a false summit or not very soon. No, this is not a false summit. This is it. This is Mount Lawler. 5,957 feet. This is actually it right here. It's like somebody had a small rock pile. This is actually the high point right here. So this is Mount Lawler. And one of these little triangle signs. So this is it. Mount Lawler, 5,957 feet above sea level. Fourth highest peak in the front range of the San Gabriels. You know, of course, back there is the back country. You see that ridge right there, that's Barley Flats. And this is a fire break right here. This little use trail will lead to that fire break that'll take you down to that saddle between 5166 and Mount Lawler, which is here. Looks like there used to be a summit register here. As I could see pieces of pens, like broken pens, up here. There must there must have been a summit register up here at one point. But it's a very sun-exposed hike, pretty much most of the way up from the saddle. However, it's not nearly as exposed to the heat of the sun as it would be going up Strawberry, because Strawberry is going up the opposite exposure. We we're kind of going up a, I want to say a northwest facing slope. So it wasn't completely sunblasted the whole time. So yeah, I wasn't sure if this was going to be a false summit. I try not to get myself overly amped up, just in case, just in case I reach a false summit and I go, oh, son of a gun. But no, this is it. This is Mount Lawler, 5,957 feet. And you can see the, the high parts of the San Gabriels over towards the Sheep Mountain Wilderness and the Cucamonga Wilderness. There's still snow up there after the storm that passed through on Wednesday. I know it dumped a lot more rain in San Diego County. But even like Anza Borrego Desert State Park and those places got more rain than we did where I live in Orange County. We barely got maybe about just a little over a tenth of an inch of rain. We had two little spurts. One overnight from Tuesday into Wednesday and then one during the day on Wednesday. Just two little spurts is all, is all we got. So I guess when I go home, I'm going to have to water my plants. <laughs> they haven't really got a good watering. Maybe you give them a light watering because we are supposed to get more rain this week. Originally, they were saying maybe up to three inches of rain in the lowlands. However, uh, I know it's the weather reports. The weather models have been backing off on it a bit, though. So... They've cut that total about in half. But, where I'm standing will be covered in snow, provided the storm actually makes its way here. We'll be covered in snow up here in a couple of days. Well, most likely Thanksgiving Day is when the snow level is going to come down. Today's the 24th. Thanksgiving's about four days away. It's on the 28th. So, this area will probably get, probably get a good few inches, at least a good few inches of snow. Strawberry Peak, which is a little bit higher, 6,164 feet, will definitely get some snow. And they're saying the snow levels could go down as low as 3,000 feet according.